What do I like most about making pottery? Um, I like the fact that it's immediate, that, that you, you, uh, you take a ball of clay and you, within a relatively short period of time, you can actually get an object, a physical object that you can, uh, after it's fired, of course, that you can use and, um, and, 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 and it's a beautiful object. And so um, being able to create something in this mechanized world by hand uh, and start with just a ball of clay. It's like if you were a jeweler, let's say, you're starting off with uh, precious uh, stones or, or gold or silver, uh, you already have something that's worth something. And, and then you're making it nicer or more interesting. Whereas with clay and glass, let's say, uh, you're, you're basically starting with an earth, earth material that has very little worth. So when you make something beautiful out of it, you're really starting with starting at the ground level. Uh, you know, basically, really, literally, you're starting at the ground level, and you're you're creating something. Whereas, whereas um, uh, with with some of the other other things, you already have a valuable thing to work with. So I like the idea that that it's it's a, it's it's simple, and uh, once you learn the skill and technique, which takes a little patience and time, uh, you can you pretty much uh, I think pretty much anybody can learn how to throw a pot. Painting is another thing because everybody has different skills. So skill levels, um, painting takes sometimes a lifetime to, to be really good at. Uh, but uh, even then, you know, there's ways to, to put designs and patterns and glazes on, on pottery that require, you know, relatively small amount of skill. So yeah, that, that's what I like about it. My interest in pottery began, well, I got a D in ceramics in high school, okay? So that's, that's the first part. Uh, I was told I was majoring, majoring on throwing pieces of paper on top of the lights, which probably was true. Um, I, pro I really didn't have that much of an interest in it then. Uh, I took a class in the summer of 1969, and uh, it was just the summer of 69. It was... Uh, uh, kind of we're all worried about you know maybe dra getting drafted into the Vietnam War or something like that and I I, I was rejected for my blood pressure for, for some reason and uh, so I took this class and I loved it I love the idea of of the immediacy of, of, of actually putting something in a kiln I was afraid of it at first because we had this raku kiln where you actually put the pots in uh, when the kilns just totally flaming on at 2,000 degrees. And so you put the pot in the kiln and then took it out and put it in a, a bucket full of, of straw and uh, paper and got these fantastic metallic pots. So uh, that's kind of like how I got started. Um, then I thought to myself, you know, I'm actually pretty good at this. And that teacher gave me an A. And uh, about three years later, I got a scholarship to Claremont uh, Colleges to, uh, to, to uh, do my graduate work in ceramics. So there you go. I pursued it as a career because I can't fix my car. I can't do a lot of things well, but I can do this well. And uh, you really only have life if you do something very well. Um, you can you can you can get somebody else to fix your car. You get someone else to do something else for you. So I found that this was this was my skill. This was something that I, I picked up, you know, through hard work, but pretty quickly. And um, it, and it's fun. Every day is fun. And life is short. Therefore, you might have you might as well find the thing in life you like to do that's fun for you to do, and do that. And so that's what I do.